The 2022 Nissan Armada may not be as popular as its domestic competitors, and it lacks a long wheelbase model, but it is luxurious. The Nissan's three-row independent rear suspension is no longer unique in this segment, but it still has one of the best rides. With some elements looking dated, it's quiet. Comfortable cabin adds to its unexpectedly upscale vibe. The pricier platinum trim makes up for it with a luxurious interior. Every model has a long list of desirable infotainment and active safety options. The Armada moves with authority and confidence thanks to its 400 horsepower V8 and well-behaved automatic transmission. Sadly, the engine is inefficient, and the big SUV can veer off the highway. The 2022 Armada's charms outweigh its flaws. The 2022 Armada gets a minor facelift and a few new tech features. But that's it. The only new feature is a one-touch power folding third row, but it is only available on the platinum trim level. The SL trim offers the best value. It has a 13-speaker Bose audio system, 20 inches rims, leather interior, power liftgate, remote start, and a sunroof. Optional second row captain's chairs are also unlocked by the SL. The Armada has a 12.3 inches touchscreen infotainment system with rotary volume and tuning controls. The unit has built-in navigation, Sirius XM satellite radio, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, as well as wireless smartphone charging. The SL model adds a 13-speaker Bose audio system, and the Platinum adds a dual-screen rear seat entertainment system. The Armada only has a 5.6-liter V8 and a 7-speed automatic transmission. On premium fuel, the engine produces 400 horsepower and 413 pounds-feet of torque. It comes with rear or all-wheel drive and can tow up to 8,500 pounds. We haven't tracked a supercharged Armada, but we have driven one and enjoyed its effortless thrust. Despite its size, the Armada handled well, but not as well as the more agile Chevrolet Tahoe and GMC Yukon. Despite its 22 inches wheels, our test vehicle was quiet and smooth. Please note that 18 inches alloys are standard, but the SUV steering was imprecise and slow to react, allowing it to wander on the highway like its Spanish namesake. The Nissan's brake pedal felt good and gave consistent feedback. Please subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed watching this video.